Sawdy's bird for sure has already made a name for itself. People who tried and tested the old level 60 version for the most part haven't changed builds on Zane due to the fact of how great this thing is. It's called the Lazy Zane build and today I bring you the updated level 65 version. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you enjoy you'll stay here and would like to show you support hitting that like button truly helps out and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Now this complete build I will give away to a couple of people on both Xbox, PS4 and also give away the save file on PC. To win this it's simple drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below with your gamer tag and platform of choice. Good luck everybody. Right now it's been held back via one item, when that's obtained I will give these out. So the days of me explaining the ins and outs of perks and why things are selected and what they do etc etc I believe is pretty pointless now because I think everybody by now knows and understands certain individual perks and I don't really want to waste your time. So I'll just demonstrate on screen what this can do, basically showing off the build showcase to you the extra 5 points I've spent and a few changes I've actually added to it. So the 5 extra points from my level 60 version have mainly gone into extending action skill time, playing dirty and violent violence. Now the reason I have called this build the lazy zane build if you don't already know is the fact you can be a lazy zane player with it as that digiclone does all the work for you. Now I will state the footage you are seeing is mostly level 60 weapons here so you ain't even witnessing its full potential. If these were level 65 weapons people the damage would be even crazier. But even still with level 60 weapons the build still mounts as you can see. Now when I initially uploaded this build a while back I did with the intentions you guys could add your own twist to it in terms of a shield and artifact. That still stands. These you can change to suit the weapons you are using which obviously depends on your playstyle. The old god is a great shield for sure with this build and the snowdrift victory rush is also a perfect artifact in my opinion. The level 65 I have I feel is great and I will keep it with this build and it will be the artifact I give out with the build as it has extra mag sizes which I absolutely love. Movement speed too when paired with this build gives you basically extra damage and because artifacts don't offer all round weapon damage I feel speed is best here especially on Zane. Shield recharge rate also is a great perk to have I mean why not. Shield here I've gone with one of the first new ones I actually got from the latest DLC 4 the plus ultra and yeah for sure you could probably get this with a better anointment but still it's great for what it offers with that extra blanket of defense because that won't go amiss. The shield I ain't seen many people talk about, I do think it's underrated because I think the benefits to it are actually great. 25% chance to absorb bullets as ammo and increase action skill cooldown rate by 30% for several seconds, I mean that's crazy. This with the 2 times prefix of reflect which gives me a 30% chance to reflect projectiles while shielded, I think that's pretty good. But again like I said the shield and artifact you can switch up. Grenade here that it's pissed takes the crown and should 100% be used along with that seeing dead class mod. Which here by the way, as you can see I'm still rocking the level 60 beast. When I get this as a level 65, that's when I'll start giving this build out. Because I want it to be perfect all first. 5 into Donnybrook people, you can't go wrong with this scene dead. But look at those skills on it too. Weapon damage, weapon magazine size which we love. And action skill damage just makes that Digiclone even more powerful. So it's crazy for that people. So the build itself you will see in a quick second, but the damage this thing is capable of is truly unreal. And that's just from the Digiclone. If you want to help out and decide not to be that lazy Zayn player, you would destroy things twice as quick. I mean if you remember the last video which I will link in the video description if you guys want to see uh, exactly what this is all about and why I pick each and every individual skill you'll find it linked within the video description. But within that video I literally with this build pop that Digiclone within the slaughter shaft and it can literally wipe out entire rounds by itself. You don't have to do anything. That's how crazy this build is. So the build itself you can see on screen now. And this is the updated level 65 Lazy Zane build. Like I said if you want to know why things are selected and how they work. Which I don't think you need to. But either way if you want damage benefits and percentages. I will link the original build within the video description where I'll go into depth about why everything is used here. But yeah guys I do hope you enjoy this build. In my opinion it's one of the best Zane builds out there. And it will not let you down. 
On that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more BR3 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Good looking.